Hey, I'm Sam from Barn2, and today I want to talk with you about the best and the worst ways to display product variations on your WooCommerce site. Finding the right product variation shouldn't feel like a scavenger hunt for your customers. But often, WooCommerce stores display each variation as a separate product listing, scattering colors, sizes, and styles across multiple pages. Please don't do this with the products on your site. This makes it incredibly frustrating for customers as they can't see all the options for a product in one place. This is backed by research from Baymard Institute, who go so far as to say that it's causing your customers to abandon their searches. Here are some of the bad examples they shared by major brands such as H&M and JBL. Instead of this, you should display variable products as a single listing on the page with variations available for people to filter through and choose. That all sounds great, but there's just one problem. By default, variations are only shown on product pages, whereas on the shop and category pages, you just get a button which allows people to select options. So today I'm sharing with you a really simple fix that we've developed. As you may know, Barn2 is a plugin company but behind the scenes, we're really just a team of WordPress community members helping others to solve the same problems that we've all faced. We're always listening to the community and want to provide easy solutions for WooCommerce store owners. So recently, we released the WooCommerce Express Shop Page plugin that lets you display variations like size and color right on the shop and category pages. Keeping in line with the recommendations from Baymard, all the product options are together in one spot rather than being spread across separate listings. Shoppers can see and select all of their choices on one page, choose quantities, and add the items to their cart much faster. So now I want to walk you through how to install the plugin and configure variations for each product. Quick side note, you do need to have variable products already set up on your site for this to work. If you have that already, you can skip this part of the video, but if you haven't set up variable products, here is how you do it. Go to any simple product and choose edit. Scroll down and from this drop down menu here under product data, choose variable product. Then click on the attributes tab and you need to add some attributes such as color and size. If you need to add new ones, click here. Or if you already have them, then they'll be listed here. Click on this expand button next and then make sure to add some values such as blue, gray, or green for colors and large, medium, or small, etc., for sizes. Then make sure that these boxes here are ticked, visible, and used for variations. And if you need to create a new value, then you can click here and write it in, for example, red. Then click the Save Attributes button and go to Variations and click Generate Variations. Click OK. And this will add variations, which includes all of the sizes and the colors that you already included. Now, in order for these to be listed correctly, they need to have some prices. So click on Bulk Actions and set regular prices. And this will set the same price for every item. You may not want to do this, but you can individually expand and edit each variation's price if you want to. Scroll up and click Update on the product. And let's view the product. And now you have a variable product. So you can choose from this drop down list which color you'd like. And you can choose a size. And that allows you to add the item to the cart. Next, we're going to learn how to move these menus to the shop page with the WooCommerce Express shop page plugin because at the moment, it only has the Select Options button, which isn't as ideal. As always, to get a copy of this plugin, head to the link in the description of this video, then download the zip file from your purchase confirmation. This is also where you'll find your license key. Next, log into your WordPress site and navigate to Plugins, Add New. Then we'll click the Upload Plugin button, choose the zip file, or drop it in this box here. Click open and finally click install. The setup wizard should launch automatically, but if not, you can also manually launch it from the plugin settings page here. Add your license key in the first step and click activate. 
Next, you can choose where quantity pickers will appear. I recommend checking both the shop and category pages. And finally, choose which pages you want to include variation dropdowns on. Again, I recommend both for the best results. Now on our shop page, when we scroll down to a variable product like this hoodie, we can see all of the options are available as dropdown lists. And the plugin has also added these quantity pickers to every single item, including the variable products as well. And we can add them to cart instead of having to go through to the individual product page in order to do all of this. So it's a much faster method for shoppers to be able to quickly see and order as many as they'd like of a particular item. Now, if this method seems a little too basic for you, then I have an alternative plugin that you can try. By far our most popular WooCommerce plugin, Product Table can list all of your products in a table format and variations are included as dropdowns. This actually replaces the default shop page and is best for stores that want to create a quick order form. The link for this plugin can also be found in the description of the video. Now, I won't bore you with another installation tutorial. It's basically the exact same steps for installation, but then when we get to the setup wizard, we can configure the plugin a little bit more precisely. Once you've uploaded and installed the plugin on your site, you can enter the license key in the setup wizard, which should launch on your first installation. In the second step of the setup wizard, and also at the top of the settings page, you can choose to display product tables on your shop page and product categories, in addition to these other places as well. I recommend ticking these two boxes to begin with. Here we can set the specific table content, in other words, the columns that will be displayed. By default, there should be an image, name, description, price, and a buy column. And these are definitely a good place to start, but you can really dig into the details and go to our knowledge base to learn about all the different table columns that are available, as well as how to format them correctly for your site. When customers are going to add the items to their cart, they can either have checkboxes, cart buttons, or both. Checkboxes are great for quick order forms. And you also want to display quantity pickers so that people can order more than one item at a time. Variations, now this is important for the topic of our video today. We want to display the variations as dropdown lists. I don't recommend showing each variation per row because this goes against the research from Baymart Institute, which suggests keeping products all together in one listing and displaying the variations within that listing. Don't worry about product filters for now. That's not really relevant for what we're doing today and you can finish setup and visit the settings page. If you scroll down in the settings page to the bottom, you can also design the table in any way that you would like, customizing the width, height, and size of the various different parts of the table. I'm gonna use the default layout, so nothing too fancy. And you can save changes. If you ever need to access this settings page, you can find it under WooCommerce settings, products and product tables. And you can also find the settings for the Express shop page plugin right next to it here. Now let's see how it looks on our site. This is our normal shop page and I'm gonna refresh the page to show how it looks with the table. So here's how our shop looks now. And if I scroll down to a variable product, you can see this one allows us to choose the color, size, and if we'd like a logo, and we can choose the quantities. And this little checkbox means that it's going to be added to our cart as soon as we hit the button down the bottom here. So this has the same effect as the first plugin where our variations are displayed with each product on the main shop page. No need to click through to individual product pages. There are plenty of tutorials in our knowledge base and here on the YouTube channel to give you a more detailed way to set up your product table. This has just been a quick overview to get you started and to give you an idea of how it will look. I hope this little tutorial helped you out today. If it did, I'd appreciate your support on this channel by liking this video. It's a huge help and it takes literally just two seconds. On this channel, I love sharing ways to improve WooCommerce user experience based on real research. 
For example, in this video, you can learn how to get more sales by adding one click checkout to your store. And as always, thanks for watching.